am Tanya Simons and I'm going to be discussing with you the concept of keystone species using the example of the Pacific sea otter. Um, now, sea otters live in the Pacific Ocean off the coast and they live in the coastal kelp forests which grow all up and down the Pacific coast. And the kelp forests, these are, this is the kelp, and the kelp provides oxygen by photosynthesis and it provides lots of shade and habitat for any of the creatures that live in the Pacific Ocean um, or along the coast. Now, the sea urchins eat the kelp and they keep the kelp in balance and the sea otters eat the sea urchins like that keeping the sea urchins in balance. Now what happened not so long ago um, people started hunting the sea otters because they didn't like that they were taking off the fishermen's fish going into the nets and eating the fish so they were killing off the sea otters and they also really liked the sea otters thick warm fur and they were killing them for their fur. So, or killing off all the sea otters, like that. They're just getting rid of all of them. Only a few left now. They just swim around. And now there weren't many things eating the sea urchins, so the sea urchins could eat all the kelp. And so the kelp started to die, like that. So there was less kelp. So no more habitats for all the creatures, just a few random bits of kelp. So now there's less kelp and there's all these sea otter, sea urchins because they've had so much food lately but all suddenly it's gone. So the sea urchins start to die. And there's less sea urchins so now they become endangered as well, all because of this little sea otter guy. Now there's less sea urchins, so the kelp can start to grow back, right? Which would eventually make more sea urchins come because they have more food. But then it would just be a vicious cycle as long as there's, there's no, not enough sea otters here to eat the sea urchins. So what people started to do was they started putting protective hunting bands on sea otters. They started breeding them in the wild like that. I mean in captivity and then releasing them back into the wild like that. And so the, then when the sea urchins were replenishing because of all the excess food and the sea kelp hadn't yet been diminished again, all these sea otters started coming back into the wild to keep everything in balance again. And that is why the sea otters are the keystone species.